This video is for going in the opposite direction of what we just did. So we're going from a fraction to a percentage. And in order to tell what percentage your fraction is, you need to get your denominator to be 100, because percent means out of 100. Um, in some cases you might be able to see easily what to divide by, and in some cases you might just want to simplify it down and then move back up to 100. So there's a bit of flexibility in how you do this. Okay, first example, 17 out of 25. I look at my denominator and I say, what do I need to multiply or divide this by to get to 100? 25 times 4 is 100, so we need to multiply by 4. And if I multiply the bottom by 4, I have to multiply the top by 4 too. 25 times 4 is 100. 17 times 4, I'm going to do 10 times 4 and then add 7 times 4. So 10 times 4 is 40. 7 times 4 is 28. So 68 out of 100. And then we have to write it as a percent. 68 percent. And then I would recommend going back and checking like, okay, 17 out of 25, does that make sense that it would be about 68 percent? Yeah, that seems fine. Okay, 4 out of 10. So you get 10 to 100, we multiply by 10, so we do the same thing on the top. And we get 40 out of 100, which is 40%. And that makes sense, because 4 out of 10 is less than half and 40%. Just kind of makes sense intuitively. Okay, for this one, I am going to simplify the fraction in a way that's easier for me to work with. So I'm just going to remove, I'm going to divide top and bottom by 10, which means I can remove a 0. So now I've got 30 out of 50. So you can simplify your fraction and then work back up to 100 if you want. Now this is a lot easier to do, because 50 times 2 is 100. And 30 times 2 is 60, so that means, well, what I had before, 300 out of 500 is equal to 60%. You can do the same thing up here. You can divide top and bottom by 10, remove a 0, and then you just have 60 out of 100. 60 out of 100 equals 60 percent. How would you tackle this one? 180 out of 600. I think I would once again divide the top and bottom by 10. So that gives me 18 out of 60. And then I would simplify that more, because 60 doesn't go evenly into 100. So, 18 and 60 are both divisible by 6. So let's do that. Let's divide top and bottom by 6 and see what happens. 18 divided... Sometimes you just have to trust and try stuff out and see if it gets to a fraction where you can see what to do. Um, and that's what I'm doing right now. So 18 divided by 6 is 3. 60 divided by 6 is 10. Okay, that is easier for me to work with. Now I know I can just do 10 times 10 to get to 100. And also, the percentages that are given to you, they're going to work. The fractions are going to work as percentages, so just play around with the fraction until you get something that makes sense to you. So 3 times 10 is 30, 10 times 10 is 100, so 180 out of 600 is equal to 30 percent. All right, 64 out of 800. I recognize 64, I know it's divisible by 8, and 800 is also divisible by 8, so I'm going to divide 
top and bottom by 8. Um, 64 is 8 squared, so 64 divided by 8 is 8. 800 divided by 8 is 100. And there you go, you have your percentage, 8%. So your end goal is to convert your fraction so your denominator is 100, but it might be easier to just simplify down to simplest form and then work back up to 100. Have fun!